my name is Carly. I am 28 year old who has just graduated from college. It is now the 4th of July and I have COVID. Um, <laughs> figured I'd do a day of what it's like to celebrate the 4th of July when you have COVID, but also I don't like the 4th of July. I hate fireworks. So being stuck inside is uh, kind of the best case scenario for me. Um, so basically, here's what I get up to. Being stuck in a room. <laughs> As soon as I turn the camera on her, she is ready to play. <laughs> ouch, 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 ah! You are painful. Today is July 5th. I kind of stopped filming yesterday because all I did was what I already filmed. Was basically just laying down, watch TV, do some embroidery, and yeah, a whole lot of nothing. But today it's nice outside. Um, I finally got dressed for like the first time in days. I realized yesterday too that I like hadn't put deodorant on. Woo. Um, in days as well. <laughs> it didn't stink, but I haven't done that in a while. But yeah, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna enjoy the sun, I'm gonna read some book, read a book. Um, maybe later do some language studying. There's a bird somewhere up there, somewhere, and it just is making so much noise. It must not like me being out here whatsoever. My goal this summer to finish the Count of Monte Cristo. So, finally, this thing is huge. I am 384 pages into it out of 
1,144 pages. Uh, but so far, it's good. It's really good. I am really liking it. I'm surprised at how easy I'm finding to read it. Um, and how exciting I'm finding it. Like right now, the... Who is it? The Vicomte Albert de Morsluf has been kidnapped. Um, but yeah, I am really enjoying it. And to make a reading experience even better, you gotta have a photo card or a uh, Polaroid of one of your favorite idols. Just, these are perfect bookmarks. And it's a good way for me to get it out and see. I'm gonna continue reading. <coughs> and stupid cough would finally go away. I'd be great. I do have to say, right now in this book, I did mention that um, a character did just get kidnapped. Um, but they are also in Rome, and Rome was one of my absolute favorite places I went to when I spent three weeks traveling around Europe about five years ago. Um, and I'm going back this summer, at probably September or some point. I'm not 100% sure of the date, just because it's another tour group and we're going to multiple places. Um, Rome is one of those places and a couple other places in Italy and I am so excited, like, I loved Rome and the longer I'm away from it, the like, more I miss it. I was only there for three days. <laughs> so it's really been so much fun reading about these characters who are in Rome, which is a place I have been to and I loved and I'm going back to. Um, yeah. I'm so excited to go back to Italy. <laughs> and reading this part section of the book is making me even more excited to go back to Italy. <laughs> okay. Need to document it. But I finally finished Guardian. And it was okay i think i'm gonna read the novel next which I didn't plan to do because i don't necessarily like reading translated chinese novels or translated novels in general just a personal preference but i think i'm gonna do that anyway um i already have it open on my phone anyway but yeah it was okay not the best chinese drama i've seen but definitely not the worst um only stuck it out for the male leads because they had they were good I liked them but I kind of just had no idea what was going on like the entire time and I just didn't care it is what it is uh, moving on to something else what no idea I'm gonna watch YouTube videos from now Hello. It is the 6th of July and I just got cleared to go back to work tomorrow. Which, honestly, didn't think I'd be excited to go back to work, but like, I'm at least ready to leave the house in this room. Um, now as you see, I have gone outside, but like, I don't know. There's mixed feelings. Let's just like talk about COVID or being sick in this community, this society, where, I don't know, I, like, before I worked at the job I'm currently working at, at a different job, and I worked there for six years, and I think I can count on my hands, not even all ten fingers, I think I can count how many times I called out. Um, and there was many times where I probably should have called out. Like, I literally think I had a fever break while I was at work. Like, <laughs> if I had a fever, I should have been home not at work but like I definitely got it from my mom and that she's the boss at a place and um <clears throat> so I've always had it drilled into me that like 
you can't call out pretty much. And like if I called out like for no reason, like I better be in like the hospital, <laughs> which literally did have to call out because I was in the hospital about to have surgery one time. But um, if I called out because I was sick or whatnot, there was always like this feeling of guilt I would feel from her, not necessarily because she like was disappointed in me, but like I would always feel so guilty for calling out. And then this is like the second time in three months that I've gotten sick, which is so unusual for me. And so like I feel guilty about that. And like it was just the 4th of July and like I work at a grocery store and holidays like the 4th of July are huge there. Like everyone's working. You are working. I'm working. Everyone's working. And then to have me uh, call out for a holiday is I mean, feels so guilty. Um, but I shouldn't, like I was, I was sick and I needed that weekend and time to like lay around and do nothing, even though now I am like ready to get up and go, like I am excited to, to work, but like, I'm really close to like my bosses. And so I also hear them when kind of talk shit when people call out and like, I, there's this fine line where I'm like, well, people are allowed to call out like and take vacations and such because that's what it's therefore but yet I still have this overarching like this really intense like guilt whenever I'm the one taking vacation or calling out and it doesn't help that like um I also do kind of a very specialized job and there's literally me and two other people that can do this job and someone's taking vacation this weekend and has to cover for someone else another very specialized position within the store and now I have to cover for them and the other person can't work certain days and so when one of us is sick, it throws all of that into like a complete chaos. And sure, we can borrow from other stores, but each store has their own thing with their, and you have your own cope for the store. And it's a whole mess. <laughs> that calling out is like getting sick is whew, not something you want to experience. And so like, I feel guilty for getting sick and throwing that all into chaos, especially over a holiday. And then there's part of me that feels guilty too because like I just literally got a week off like I got sick on some like last days I worked and then I had some days off and they're supposed to go back and then I couldn't go back because I tested positive um but like so then I just got a week off and I'm taking some days off at the end of the month because we have family in town and then I'm honestly planning on quitting my job next month which they know about and I don't know, there's just like a lot, I feel like I'm taking so much time off. And I literally, I also asked for a day off next week because I'm going to a concert and I want the next day off after that concert. And that's like one day and it's not typically a day I work anyway. But like, I don't know. I'm ready to go back, I'm ready to see people. I'm ready to get out of the house and feel like comfortable enough getting out of the house. Wearing a mask, obviously, but like getting out of the house. Um, but like, I don't know, I feel so guilty and I need to not, I need to know. My therapist would tell me to not feel so guilty, but I am excited to finally go back to work and like see people and get some money. I'm pretty sure I got paid for all this because again, I never call out. So I got some sick pay. I should have gotten some sick pay, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I hope something got from that, but I guess it's my last day in quarantine, which is so nice. It's not as nice outside move on to something different. I'll probably just spend the day. I want to finish this up because I'm almost done watching TV. I don't know. I finished that. I talked about it yesterday. I finished Guardian, a Chinese drama, um, which I had a little conversation with you guys about. It was okay. I like the leads. Um, I also finished Old Fashioned Cupcake, which is a Japanese BL. Finished that this morning. It was really cute. It was, it was really cute. Not like the typical Japanese BL, um, but it was adorable. I really liked it. Highly recommend. Um, and because I keep seeing it everywhere, I think I'm going to finally start Triage, which is a Thai BL. Um, but yeah, we'll see. This will probably be the last day. Call it some quarantine diaries, even though it's like all of me feeling better and mostly just me laying in bed doing a whole lot of nothing. <coughs> Hopefully this cough has also gone by tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, let's...
stitch consistently, I do a lot better. But let's see. One, only two. Oh, I only got two out of seven, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Moving on to the next. study for the day. Well, I'll probably watch one more video. Uh, but I also think I'll probably end this here. I'm gonna go eat dinner. It's almost four, um, which may seem very early, uh, but I get up at 3 a.m. to go to work. So uh, dinner time so I can go to bed soon, earlier than most. Um, and hopefully the next thing I film will be not solely in this room. This stupid cheat. <laughs> Anyway, I guess I will see you guys later. Bye.